So in part four of our electric current through conductors, we are again considering the Ohm's law experiment. The circuit diagram we have seen before with the cell E and the key K and the rheostat, which is connected in series with an ammeter and the resistance under consideration back to the rheostat. We have a voltmeter which is connected across the resistance or parallel to the resistance. This, this is the circuit, the simple circuit of our Ohm's law, wherein E is the EMF or the battery eliminator and K is the key, R H is the rheostat, R is the resistance, A is the ammeter and B is the voltmeter. Now according to Ohm's law, I is proportional to V. So I, we can write V as equal proportional to I. So V is IR. So R is nothing but the potential difference upon current. So R is V upon I. So resistance depends on the device or the object. Now we are going to talk about specific resistance, which is also known as resistivity. So obviously it is some kind of resistance. Let us see where. So we take a conductor of length L. So at a particular temperature, resistance R is directly proportional to the length L of the conductor. The cross-sectional area is A. So it is inversely proportional to the area of cross-section A. More is the area, less is the resistance. So we can combine these two and write R is proportional to L upon A. So proportionality, we change it to equality by introducing a constant known as the specific resistance, rho. So R is equal to rho L upon A. So we rearrange the terms to get rho is equal to R A over L. So it is defined as the resistance per unit length and per unit cross-sectional area at constant temperature. So we have resistivity as a property of the material. Now we can write instead of R as B upon I according to Ohm's law. So rho is equal to V upon I into A upon L. If you rearrange, we get V upon L and divided by I upon A. But from our previous explanation, I upon A is nothing but the current density J. So if you have electric field as E at a particular point where the potential difference is V and the current density is J in a material, then we can write for an isotropic material resistivity rho is equal to E upon J. So we have here another quantity that's the quant conductance. How much does it allow conduct? So conductance is a reciprocal of resistance. Resistance doesn't allow, conductance allows. So G is equal to 1 upon R. So obviously, the SI unit of G is 1 upon O, which is also known as Siemens. Conductivity is a reciprocal of resistivity or specific resistance. So rho is, there is sigma. Rho is the specific resistance. So sigma is the conductivity that is equal to 1 upon rho. SI unit of sigma is 1 upon ohm. Meter. That is 1 upon ohm is Siemens, so Siemens upon meter. Resistivity rho can be written as Ra by L. It is also written as E by J. Now if you consider rho is equal to Ra over L, we can write the SI unit of rho as ohm meter square upon meter, that is ohm meter. Similarly, if you take resistivity rho as E by J, then we can write the SI unit of rho as volt upon meter upon ampere upon meter square. So that gives you volt upon am ampere into meter. But volt upon ampere is nothing but ohm. That is again ohm meter. These are the different units. Now let us talk about the variation of resistance with temperature. So if T0 is a reference temperature, which may be 0 degrees Celsius. So R0 is the resistance 
at 0 degree Celsius. So, R is the resistance at 3 degree Celsius. Then we can write the difference in resistance is directly proportional to the original resistance R0. The difference in resistance is directly proportional to the difference in temperature. So, we can combine the two and write R minus R0 is directly proportional to R0 into T minus T0. Combining the above two equations. Now, proportionality, we will change it to equality. So, we will write R minus R0 is equal to alpha. Alpha is a constant here. Alpha into R0 into T minus T0. So, don't get confused with the alpha above, which is proportionality sign. And this alpha is a constant. So, we have, we rearrange it the terms. We will get R is equal to R0 into 1 plus alpha into T minus T0. So, alpha is equal to 1 upon R0 into dr by dt or d by dt of R. It's the derivative of the temperature with respect to the resistance. So, the temperature coefficient alpha of resistance is defined as the increase in resistance per unit original resistance at a given resistance per degree rise in temperature. Now, we take this equation again. We already know R is equal to rho L by A. So, let us substitute this equation in that and we get rho is equal to rho naught into 1 plus alpha T minus T naught. So, similar equation to the resistance. We get equation for resistivity where rho naught is a specific resistance at 0 degree Celsius and rho is a specific resistance at T degree Celsius. So, variation of resistivity with temperature can be plotted as resistivity versus temperature graph and it is a straight line. Now, let us talk about the specific resistance or resistivity of some materials. Silver 1.59 into 10 to minus 8 ohm meter. Copper 1.72 into 10 to minus 8 ohm meter. Gold 2.44 into 10 to minus 8 ohm meter. Aluminium 2.82 into 10 to minus 8 ohm meter. Tungsten 5.6 into 10 to minus 8 ohm meter. Brass 6.6 into 10 to minus 8 ohm meter. Iron 9.7 into 10 to minus 8 ohm meter. Constant in 49 10 to minus 8 ohm meter. Mercury 95.8 into 10 to minus 8 ohm meter. Nichrome 100 into 10 to minus 8 ohm meter. These are the conductors. Then we have the semiconductors. Carbon 3500, 3500 to minus 8 or 3.5 into 10 to minus 5 ohm meter. We have germanium 0 0.5 ohm meter. Silicon 3 into 10 to 4 ohm meter. Then we have the insulators which is Glass 10 is to 11 to 10 is to 13 ohm meter. It becomes positive over here. Mica 10 is to 11 to 10 is to 15 ohm meter. Then hard rubber 10 is to 13 to 10 is to 16 ohm meter. Teflon 10 is to 16 ohm meter. Maple wood 3 into 10 is to 8 ohm meter. These are some of the examples. The numbers the, may vary here and there. So that's all. Thank you.